absolutely beautiful chicken of the woods. This looks like a prime time. I don't have a lot of chicken of the woods by me, so I mean, yeah. occasionally, I'm not a real big like uh, mycology guy. I'm more into plants, so. Yeah, so we usually have two that you'll find throughout Kentucky. Um, Late Deporus, uh, Sulfurious, this is the one that you'll see fruiting readily just out of the actual logs. Mm -hmm. And then we have Late Deporus Cincinnatus, which usually grew, grows about a foot or so away from the base of a tree. And it's actually fruiting from buried roots. And so it gives it more of the ability to have that rosette morphology. This is b perfect, like you said, so. It does look perfect. I think we should pick this. And um, what, what do you like to do with Chicken of the Woods? Uh, my go-to at this point, it used to just be saute, just simple, but now, now that I have the Escalibur non-tray dehydrator, this all would be jerky. Oh wow, you make jerky out of it? And it's incredible. And we also do like kind of like a faux crouton with it, where we extra dry it, and then it becomes a great salad topping. Is this more predominant in the fall or in the summer for you guys? This is really present year-round, except for early spring. Um, I found this in January, looking this beautiful. And the thing that's nice is even in droughts, uh, a lot of these nurse logs, as they're called, they sequester all this water. And so you could be out after three weeks of no rain being like, I don't have a basket on me, right? And all yeah. of a sudden you'll just see something like this because it had enough water in it to actually send out a fruiting body. So. Wow. Now, um, as far as for identification purposes, are there lookalikes that anybody should be worried about? Um, not particularly. This is one of those species where you can really, you know, be on a trail run and actually find it down in a ravine someplace. It's not one of the ones that you have to glue your eyes to to the forest floor. Okay. Um, any kind of look likes would be something like Hen of the Woods, which is a seasonal. It's darker in color. Um, it's also a delicious edible, so that actually could be a potentially wonderful mistake. <laughs> An awesome mistake to make. Um, there is the Berkeley polypore. That one is not really as bright in color. It's usually more sand cream color. So this is one of those foolproof type of species. Uh, Sulfurious, this species here will have a yellow underside, pore surface. And the Cincinnatus that I mentioned that fruits really from the ground, that usually has a more peach to white under underside, so. Awesome. Well, I think that we should harvest this and take it with us while we're looking for nuts. Let's do it. All right. So I usually just leave this really chitinous knob in the back unless yep. it's showing to be really buggy wow that looks great yeah and again what's nice is that since this is a fresh specimen you know we're beating the bugs to it to a degree and that's usually the one reason uh, that'll result in you having a one pound harvest to potentially a 19 pound harvest oh it's bugs is always the bugs yeah yeah they like to kind of bore themselves into this and make a little motel yeah so i just look through it and basically just you know, you don't have to be incredibly particular. You know what bugs are looking like. They'll be moving around generally. Um, what you don't want to have is a ton of holes through the actual fruiting body because that'll just allow it to oxidize and kind of rot quicker. All this looks pretty good. And then what I do, just because I usually go out for several hours, is I just try to keep it as together as I can to hold in as much moisture against themselves. And then I get home and put it on a cutting board and then I'll just trim away all the pieces. And again, if I'm doing jerky, I'll just cut it into small pieces like that, and then put them in the dehydrator. Again, that brown part right there, you don't want that. When you make your jerky, you yeah. are you are not cooking it at all. It's just 100% just dehydrated. Correct. The jerky, we basically just rinse it really well, and then we just thin it, uh, thinly uh, slice it, and then we'll just dehydrate it after we dredge it in our sauce, which we like to do teriyaki with chipotle, and garlic uh like uh aioli so that is amazing i've never tried it i'll have to try it one of these days